Hey guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! I'm aware that my wig is very clockable at the moment, but I don't know, I just really didn't feel like gluing it down, so... You just gotta have to live with it. In today's video, I'm going to make another wig! I'm so excited. I love making wigs. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Peerless Hair. And Peerless Hair is a virgin hair company. And they sent me over from on their beautiful hair. I got one frontal and three bundles. And it is very long because, you know, I just made a short wig. So I want to make a long wig now. And the length of these bundles is, one of them is 20 inch and the other two are 22 inch and the frontal is 20 inch as well. So it's gonna be a really, really long wig. So as always, this is the 613 color, which means it is a light blonde and it's easy to dye because of course I'm going to dye it. Um, and this is the front hole and it's looking very soft and shiny and nice. The only problem I have with this beautiful frontal is something that I just found out about <laughs> and that is that it has dark lace um, <clears throat> as you can see it's kind of like a darker brown which is very useful for people with a dark skin tone but I don't know if you ever seen me <laughs> but I don't really have a dark skin tone <laughs> I actually just like blend into the wall behind me that's how white I am so if I would like put this on my face right now it's very obvious that it's darker so, I'm not sure if you can actually bleach lace. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna kind of like figure out how I can do that, but maybe I just have to put like a shit ton of foundation on there. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing me make and dye another beautiful wig, then please keep on watching. As always, Pablo is joining us today because he just really likes to be on camera and he just really likes to sit in boxes. And he also really likes to take my hair, so this is the perfect environment for him. So the color that I'm going to dye the wig today is actually going to be two colors because I'm going to get split hair. So a one part black and the other part white. At least, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it white, but I'm gonna try to make it as white slash silver as possible. So I'm going to do that and the way that I'm going to do that is I think I'm just first going to tone all the hair that I have over here. So I'm going to make it like as white as possible. Then I'm going to sew the wig. And then I'm going to dye half of the wig black. Because that just seems like the easiest way to do. So for the toning part, I'm just going to use the water method again. Because it's like really easy and it only takes a few seconds. So I have to ask Pablo to please get out of the box. Because I'm going to pour some hot water in there. Are you actually going to listen to me? Oh, no. I thought he was gonna listen to me for one second. So, I just filled the box with some water. I also gave Pablo his own box because I know he really loves them, so. <laughs> He's so cute. The hair is looking beautiful and soft and shiny. You gotta dip it in here and hopefully it's gonna turn white, but you know, it probably won't. I can already tell that this hair isn't turning into the color that I wanted it to be. Which I already thought would happen because I feel like this is just too dark for, a bee, for being a white. So yeah, this is all the hair that I have. It looks so gross like this. But I'm just gonna shampoo and condition it and then let it dry and then I'm going to make the wig. I'm so excited. I really hope it's gonna work out, okay? I really hope it because I do not want to bleach this hair. But I kind of got a feeling that I have to bleach it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, la, 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 la. Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys, how are you? It is the next day and I look completely different from yesterday. What a surprise. So, um, I toned the hair. I got it over here and it just... It didn't really turn out the color that I wanted it to be. Which I already knew was gonna happen because, let's face it, I'm me. But yeah, this is the color right now. It's still pretty dark in my opinion. I just, I really wanted to be like white, white, you know. So these are the bundles and over here I have the frontal, which I don't know, it is a pretty color, but it's just kind of, it's just a little bit too natural for me. 
which I'm not really about. So what I thought I was going to do, I thought, you know, I'm just gonna make the wig. I'm just gonna sew it all together because that's gonna take a really long time. So I'm gonna do that. And then once the wig is like finished, then I'm gonna see what I'm going to do with it. So I think I'm just gonna like bleach one half and then dye the other half black. But honestly, I don't, I don't know. I just realized that it might be a little bit weird to get like very light blonde hair and then dye it black because I also could have just gotten like black hair, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I might end up dyeing it a completely different color, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna make it and then I'm gonna see. What's gonna happen? Also, I invested in like a very like serious and professional wig head. So I do feel like more of a professional this time than the other times. But I do also feel like this is going to go completely wrong. Take my frontal and I'm going to sew that one on first because you know, that's kind of how it works apparently. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm gonna sew on the bundles. Tee hee. Let me just take a sip of coffee so I got all the caffeine I need to finish this wig today. <sighs> no, Pablo. Pablo, no. No. <laughs> So I'm finally done sewing the wig and oh my god it took so long, it's like 4 hours later right now. But yeah, she's all sewed up and looking gorgeous. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna dye this beautiful wig because of course this is not the color that I wanted. Actually this looks so much like my natural hair color when I was younger. I literally had this color. That's insane though. I think I'm just gonna do like one side at a time so first i'm going to bleach this side and hopefully it will get like a lot lighter and then i'm going to tone this side and when this is like completely done i'm going to dye this side black so i really hope it's gonna work <laughs> So um, I finished the entire side of the hair and I'm actually mad because my camera stopped recording because my card is full because I've been doing this for like the last 8 hours <laughs> but I didn't realize it so um, I didn't really film everything but you know I just put bleach on it so um, this is gonna be the light side and this is of course the dark side otherwise it would be kind of weird you know if I put bleach on the dark side anyways um, it's on there and uh, the hair is definitely getting lighter so I am happy so what I'm now going to do is I'm just gonna wait and let it sit for like half an hour or so. I'm not sure. Um, it's not my own hair, so I'm not really too worried about damaging it. Uh, of course I want it to look pretty, but you know, if it's a little bit damaged, it's, it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, I'm gonna let it sit. I just ordered some food, so I'm just gonna eat something. And then once it's all rinsed out, I'm gonna be back to tone it. Or well, at least to try and tone it. Not sure how that's gonna go yet. I guess we all know how good I am at toning my hair. <laughs> I want to cry. Look how light she's gotten. Oh my god. I think this is actually like the perfect color because it's super pale. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my Fanola No Yellow Shampoo again. And hopefully it's going to work out this time because otherwise it will be a complete waste of time. But okay. So I'm taking my Fanola No Yellow Shampoo and some conditioner and I'm just going to mix these two together and then apply it like I apply hair dye and stuff and the conditioner is just gonna dilute the product make it a little bit less intense make it a little bit easier to apply and also gonna condition the hair even though it's, it still feels like really soft I don't know whenever I bleach my hair it feels absolutely horrible <laughs> but this still feels like really good actually so I'm definitely impressed <laughs> I'm 
Chicago. It is the next day again. <laughs> I was planning on finishing the wig yesterday, but honestly, it took so much longer than I expected. So uh, this is the platinum side right now, and you can definitely see the difference between the colors. It's so pretty. Um, it is a little bit patchy though, so I might go over it one more time with silver shampoo. But honestly, platinum hair is just so difficult to get. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to dye the other side black. Woohoo! So what I did is I put some Vaseline on the uh, lace. So hopefully I won't stain the lace too much. Do you guys also notice that whenever I film a wig video, <laughs> I always start out like very like beautiful with like makeup and hair done and outfit done. And the longer the video gets, like the less I start doing about my appearance. So for the black side of the hair, I'm actually going to use the Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Schwarzkopf polycolor black hair dye. It is number 45. And yes, I'm aware that box hair dyes are like the devil's juice. But honestly, it is just so cheap. <laughs> I got four boxes because I'm not sure like how much I need to use. I got four boxes of hair dye and I only had to pay 20 euros. So, you know, that's just all the information I need. Yeah, and the hair dye is in the hair! And I accidentally dyed some hair of the white side, black as well. But I literally dyed like the first strand of hair you're seeing. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this sit for about half an hour and I'm gonna rinse it out. And I'm just going to straighten this beautiful wig. And then I'm gonna put it on my head. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I put some makeup on, so you all know what that means. It means that my wig is finally ready! Oh my god. Let, it just, let me just like put it on my head real fast. So you can see what it looks like. Oh my god. It's so pretty! So, what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to um, cut the lace off at the front and I'm also going to apply <laughs> my hair. Oh my god. And I'm also going to apply some foundation on the inside of the wig because, like I said, the lace is a little bit too dark for me. So, I'm going to do that and I'm going to cut the lace off and then I'm going to glue it on my head. Got my wig cap on. Now I'm gonna put my wig on. I might have put like a little bit too much foundation on there because I accidentally put foundation on the hairs. But well, yeah, we're gonna fix that later. So, to glue the wig down using my Got to Be Glued Extreme Freeze hairspray. Let me just put that on my head. So then I'm just taking a hairband and I'm going to put it on my head to really stick the edges down. I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Oh, 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 bitch! <gasps> Look at how gorgeous that is! Oh my god. I did have a little bit of trouble blending in the lace at the front. <laughs> As you can probably see, so you know, next time I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna try a little bit harder. But it's just really difficult because, again, I'm super bad at gluing wigs down. I don't know what it is, but it's like insanely difficult for me. But yeah, look at it. Look at how long it is. Oh my god. I'm also like at the back. Wait. Look how gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm living my true fantasy right now. Also, like the quality of the hair is just insanely good because I literally bleached this entire side and it still feels very soft and it looks very shiny. And this side's even better. 
I love this so much. This might even be my favorite wig I've made so far because I, I'm just obsessed. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you for sticking around this long because I feel like this is going to be a very long video because it literally took me four days to make this entire wig. So a big thank you to Pearless Hair for sponsoring this video and providing me with this gorgeous hair. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I will leave all the information about the hair and about the website and everything in the description box down below so you can check it out for yourself. And yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So yeah, Pablo and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And we hope to see you in the next video. Okay, Pablo is done with me. I'm sorry. Okay, bye.